So I wanted to jump in. I know that uh, right now the economy is just going crazy, right? I mean, I just went to get gas the other day and I couldn't believe it cost me $53 for 11 gallons of gas. Thank God I work from home and I hardly ever have to get gas, so yay on that. But one way to really um, help save money is to eat at home, right? Eat at home more, at least. And um, there's ways to eat at home and make it special. You know, shut off the TV, um, get a nice bottle of wine, you know, maybe light some candles and just, you know, you can make a restaurant at home style uh, dinner for two or as your family, however it works for you, and um, really save some money. But what I find is a lot of my customers tell me they're uninspired at home. They don't know what to make. They're uninspired. So, of course, my taste buds just came in the mail. It always gets me um, uh, thinking about this question when people tell me, oh, I, just, I don't know what to do. I'm just uninspired. And um, so we have taste buds. I know many of you have seen me talk about these before, but I get new followers all the time. So I do want to make sure every time I get my taste buds that I come live and share them with you guys. Okay. I always open them with you. So I don't know what's in them until I open them with you. But um, you get three seasonings that are good for two to three recipes. Okay. So um, we have applewood, um, smoky applewood rub delicious. This is one of my favorites. We have an Asian seasoning. This is also very good. And Jamaican jerk seasoning, which is great too. And with that comes these recipe cards. Okay. And so we have Jamaican jerk chicken. This is such a good recipe, you guys. Crispy, delicious. It has so much flavor. And You'll feel like you made something special, and it's really inexpensive. It's made with chicken thighs, skin on. Um, and then this is uh, shrimp stir-fry. Yum! And you can do this with tofu. You can do it with chicken. You can do it with uh, pork. It doesn't have to be shrimp if you don't like shrimp. Don't worry about that. And then we have slow-cooked pulled pork sandwiches. And I like to make these actually with chicken and um, pull the chicken and make um, pulled chicken sandwiches instead of pork. But you, um, if you like pork, you go ahead and do, do it this way. But here's the thing. If you don't like any of those recipes, if you're like, I would not eat any of those, no worries because we have all kinds of things that you can do with your seasonings that are outside of these recipes. You also have access to what is called The Hub, and only subscribers of Taste Buds have access to The Hub, and that is where there is all kinds of recipes and inspiration for your Taste Bud seasonings. So if you're feeling a little uninspired when it comes to dinner time and you want to try something new, um, this is something I highly recommend because it's really fun. You never know what you're going to get. And then as you are a subscriber for a period of time, I've been a sub subscriber for over a year, well over a year now, I think. And all of I have all of my recipes on a ring. And <clears throat> when it comes to shopping time, we can just go through and decide which recipes we want um, for that week. I usually pick about three of them. And it just makes everything really easy. You know, a little planning um, goes a long way with um, what's for dinner. So anyways, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. See you soon. Bye.